Thank goodness for cozy sweaters on cold days. I am in love with this Aran sweater. I've always wanted one and I'm glad I have one because they are the warmest, cuddliest thing in the world. But aside from cozy Aran sweaters, I am also here to talk about something else and that is Shadowfell by Juliette Marillier. The first book in the Shadowfell trilogy I'm going to be giving you guys a spoiler free review. So stay tuned if you want to know my thoughts on this book. Hello everyone, it is Samantha. I hope you guys are having a great day. As I said in my 2016 reading goals, I really wanted to try and do at least two reviews a month and I'm here today to film my two reviews. The first one is going to be, of course, as I said in the intro, Shadowfell by Juliet Marillier, the first book in the Shadowfell trilogy. So as you guys know, I am a big fan of Juliet Marillier's writing. I love her books. I love her Seven Mars trilogy. I loved her duology, consists of the Wildwood Dancing and Sibylle Secret and a few of other, other books that I have read. I really, really love her writing and in this case, Shadowfell was no different. I am in love with this book, but enough of that. I'll get to more about what I like this book after my review. Shadowfell is the first book in the Shadowfell trilogy and it follows our main protagonist Naren. And Naren resides in this country called Albin. Albin is a country that is being ruled by this evil king. He's oppressive. He's trying to kill all magical people, all fey folk, anybody who has any type of connection to the fey folk. He's basically just trying to quash it. He's basically a dictator. He's cruel and people are trying to hide from him, including Naren and her father. In the very beginning of the book, Naren, who's is traveling with her father, end up at this boathouse where her father ends up gambling her away. She ends up being purchased by this mysterious stranger who then ends up letting her go. They kind of part ways as Naren is trying to find her way to Shadowfell. Shadowfell is a secret camp way in the north, kind of out of the king's reach, that is basically a group of people, usually with special abilities, who is trying to fight back against the king and re regain the land of Albin for all people to reside in safely, including for the Fae folk. So Naren is trying to set out to find her way to Shadowfell so she can join these people and help in this move resistance movement against the king. Along the way, she ends up catching up again with the mysterious stranger Flint, and he might not be all that he seems. He might be harboring a dark secret. She's not quite sure who to trust or how she is going to to get to Shadowfell. So this book basically follows her journey to Shadowfell and her relationship with this mysterious stranger Flint. Overall I really really enjoyed this book. I ended up rating it four and a half out of five stars. It was really really well done. I love Juliette Marillier's writing. It is just as magical and lyrical in this book as I have come to know from her works in the past. As a lot of Irish and Celtic influence as a lot of her works do, even though this one does not take place in Ireland as the Seven Waters trilogy does, this one takes place in its own country but she definitely pulls from Irish mythology. A lot of the faith folk are very reminiscent of Celtic folklore and I just absolutely enjoyed it. I love how she drew the characters. The ones that were bad were very sinister, the ones that were very good were very physical and quirky and I just found myself really enjoying it. I really like Naren as the protagonist. She was very strong-willed. She was able to think for herself and kind of try and plow through all of the obstacles in her way to fight for what she believes in. I thought she was a very believable and relatable character. Even though she had moments where she wasn't always as strong as she could be, it felt very realistic. It felt like how I might react in that situation, you know, how I might feel if that thing that was happening to her happened to me and I really enjoyed it. Needless to say though, even though I enjoyed the book, there were a couple of things I didn't much care for. I felt that some of it was a little bit predictable. You could definitely see how the story was going to go and how it was going to end. There was definitely kind of that bad boy trope going on where the girl's like, I'm gonna help him because he's cute and yeah, so there was definitely that trope going on. Uh, those two things were probably the two things that I didn't care for about the book, which is why I rated it down a half star and gave it four and a half stars. But overall, I thought it was an excellent book and I cannot wait to continue on to the second book. I already have it coming on its way and I cannot wait to continue on and finish this trilogy. I really, really, really enjoy this book a lot. And I think if you haven't picked up Juliet Earlier's works in the past, but you're curious as to where to start, this would be another good starting place. It's not very long, as you can see. It's only about 300 pages, but it was excellent and I cannot wait to finish it out and see how the story progresses. All right guys, that was it for my spoiler for review of Shadowfell by Juliet Marillier. I don't know why I'm doing a movie voice, but I am. Anyway, I really enjoyed this book. If you've read it, you'll have to let me know your thoughts on it down below because I'd be curious to hear about it. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll try to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, happy reading. Bye. Mm -hmm.